All right, welcome back away from that feature on real estate. Let me introduce my guest, Stan Lee Achono, is the country director of the One Campaign here in Nigeria. And he joins me now to speak on Nigeria, Africa's ties with Germany vis-a-vis uh, -vis the German Chancellor's uh, visit. Uh, many thanks for joining me, Stan Lee. Thank you for having me. Okay, let us just start uh, this way. How crucial is Germany's partnership with Africa at this time? Um, Germany's uh, partnership with Africa is increasingly becoming crucial, um, especially in the light of the global economic development of sustainable co uh, cooperation that we have been talking about. Um, Germany is the fourth largest economy in the world um, and one of uh, Africa's biggest, biggest trading partners. Um, on our side, we have on, on the African side, we have seen that we have the potential to be a crucial contributor to solving uh, global challenges. We have abundant human and natural resources. Um, and we are, being, we are seeing how especially on the human resources side where Africa is now becoming a huge contributor to the tech scene um, and all of the other challenges the world sees. Um, Germany's partnership is real. Um, Africa, Africa Union finally became a member of the G20, country of partners like Germany who put in uh, the effort to get Africa Union in seat at the G20, a really big, crucial global decision-making body. So to have, a, to have a seat on behalf of Africa um, at that global body is also important, and Germany played a really crucial role. Um, but Germany is very clear about how they want to work with Africa. They have established compact with Africa, um, where their approach to support for Africa is mutually agreed and discussed. So there is no better time to strengthen the Germany-Africa partnership, especially the Nigeria-Germany partnership, uh, than now. So the willingness to do that is both on the side of the Nigerian government and on the side of the German government, and this is why. Um, the German leadership is making frequent trips to Africa. Um, the president will be in Tanzania in a few days. Um, this will be the second time the chancellor is on the continent. So Africa is beginning to gain global attention, and that partnership is not crucial. Uh, you know, that you have laid so far. But um, what then are your expectations, uh, uh, particularly from this particular trip to Africa? Um, a lot. <laughs> um, for one, I expect a lot of conversation around uh, direct investment in, in between Nigeria and Germany. Um, as you know, uh, the economic situation in Nigeria is crucial, and we need to attract as much investment as possible in the immediate. Um, the uh, visit will present a unique opportunity, and I, as I expect, that the Nigerian government will put out a clear set of demands or requests in terms of private sector-led direct investment from Germany and German businesses into Nigeria and to Nigeria businesses. Um, we also expect um, a bit of conversation on reforming the global financial architecture. Uh, Germany is an influential leader, um, and Africa is facing significant challenge in assessing uh, affordable financing um, from the global multi multilateral development banks like the World Bank and IMF. Um, and this uh, challenges in stalling progress in various sectors on the continent. So we expect that to be on the table in this uh, uh, during this visit. Um, there's been an ongoing conversation to reform the global uh, financial architecture so that it is fit for purpose. At the moment, it is more difficult for the countries in need to find the finances they, they require uh, in a timely fashion. Um, I hope that that to be discussed and that the role that Germany can continue to advance in, in support of reforming a World Bank, IMF, and those multilateral development banks to be on the table. Um, we also need to ask for an increased voice in decision-making level at these global institutions. IMF, World Bank, UN, we need to be, we need to really 
uh, be on the same level. And I've spoken about the need for investment. These global bodies make and direct global investment flows. So it's important that we get a seat in the discussion that affects us directly. And we're also seeking a two-way partnership, especially between Germany and Nigeria. German businesses hold a lot of capital. They hold a lot of influence that can help uh, sort of speed up Nigeria's economy. And that should be priority right. on this basis. And I expect there to be a lot of conversation around Nigeria's tech space. Uh, our fintechs thin would be discussed. Right. And how Germany can continue to partner and, and support us will also be very crucial on right. this stage. Uh, yeah. yeah so those are my expectations. Okay, let me still butt in. The good thing you've mentioned um, the trade relationship between Nigeria and, of course, Germany. Now, the relationship, vol uh, the trade volume rather, reached about um, 3 billion euros in 2022, which was um, a substantial rise from the previous year's 2 billion uh, euros. In what areas? Uh, I know you have mentioned, uh, you know, uh, fintech and all of that, but in what other areas can Germany invest more in the country? Um, the creative industry is booming in Nigeria, um, so I would expect um, Germany to look to that sector. Um, Germany needs gas. Nigeria has abundance of gas. Uh, I will expect conversation around natural resources to be on. All right, um, it's still uh, Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. We lost uh, Stanley Achone there, but uh, we'll take a quick week and see if we can reconnect with him in a minute. Stay with us. All right, welcome back. It's still Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. We had to take a quick break there, but welcome back there. We still have Stanley Achano. He is the country director here in Nigeria of One Campaign. And we've been looking at uh, the German Chancellor's uh, visit to Africa, specifically uh, Nigeria, and, and how um, you know economic and um, bilateral ties can actually be strengthened. Uh, Stanley, just before we took that break, we were talking about what other areas uh, Germany can invest in the country. But then again, Nigeria is a major player in gas supply in Africa. With the gas situation in Europe, can the country harness this visit to explore more ties with Germany in that regard? Please. Yes, I, 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 yes, I mentioned that um, Nigeria's gas will will be uh, part of this conversation. There is already an effort to build trans um, Africa gas pipeline going from Nigeria all the way to Europe uh, to improve gas supply to Europe. So I expect that to be on the table. But the challenge is that harnessing this um, opportunity and potential in gas uh, is capital intensive and requires a huge amount of money to invest in gas infrastructure to enable um, that uh, benefit to be reaped. Um, our debt is mounting. We have declining revenue that makes it even more difficult for, go for government to channel the required investment. Um, I think that Germany will be interested in supporting Nigeria in harnessing our gas potential to be, become available for the German economy. Um, it will not be to immediate um, results. It will take a few years for the investment to mature, but I expect there to be concrete outcome uh, on on this front between uh, President Tinubu and Chancellor Charles on this basis. So gas development will will play a crucial role. Just also add that um, the peace of the region, the African region, especially what we have seen in Niger, will be crucial because uh, in talking about gas, uh, the pipeline will have to pass through some of the difficult areas um, we have uh, in our sub-region, uh, all of the Mali, Niger, and, and um, the areas where we have seen an increased number of military coups. Um, discussing the security of the region will also form part of um, the environment that enables this sort of investment to happen. But gas will be very crucial in, in increasing our bilateral trade with you. All right, uh, Stanley, just before we let you go, in passing, you mentioned um, the creative industry, but we sort of lost you there at some point. Can you just uh, you know, wrap up your thoughts concerning how uh, Nigeria and Germany can play in that particular light? Yes, I, um, 
Jack creative industry is one of the biggest. We have seen uh, movie, music, um, you know, sort of cut across um, cultures and 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 go around the world. We have we are one of the biggest music um, uh, uh, sector at the moment that the world is paying attention to. Um, our fashion is also taking on the world. So our creative industry broadly, movie, music, fashion, in all sense. Um, is playing is, is growing and the world is paying attention. So I expect there to be you know sort of cross cultural uh, integration um, and sharing of ideas. Uh, countries are made by how much of uh, the world know about them, and Nigeria is beginning to gain global attention. I also mentioned that our agriculture and agro processing sector should be one area where Germany is looking to invest. It is labor rich. Job intensive it will, create, it will put more people in jobs, but it's also very profitable if it is done right. So, if Nigerian government puts in the right policies that enables German businesses to make the right investment, it is mutually beneficial to to both sides. There are countries who make huge revenue exporting uh, agricultural produce, and Nigeria is well positioned. We are six hours away from Europe. You can get fresh flowers down to Germany. You can get fresh food produce then you know, down to Germany in six hours in the whole of Europe. So we're well positioned to to feed the world if, if the right investment is made. Um, supported by a, a good manufacturing sector would be areas where I think uh, we can look to, to grow um, our great relationship with Germany and, and, and get it beyond the $3 billion it did in 2023, in 2022. All right, well said, um, uh, Stanley. Many thanks for the very wonderful inputs and um, insights that you have shared on the show today.